guys, happy Sunday. It is April 23rd and sorry I'm a bit disheveled, but I've kind of been out here moving stuff around all morning. Um, let me turn you around so you can see what I've got going on. Okay, so as you can see, my greenhouse is looking a little more empty. I have been spending this morning moving all my citrus outside except for like this Cara Cara because she has a lot of fresh new leaves and um, I don't know I think I'll wait a couple weeks before I let her go out <laughs> I just have that parental fear that she's gonna get attacked by aphids because of all the new growth that's on her but I will toughen up and we'll do what needs to be done in a couple weeks but anyways I've got all my summer crops in here like my peppers the ones from my pepper mistake look at this you guys they have grown back like gangbusters they're just I mean some of them look like they're ready to fruit but I'll pull those off so that they can spend their energy on more foliage but Let's see, so these are ones that weren't entirely clipped off. So you can see those ones are steadily catching up to these ones. I got my eggplants back here and all my tomatoes. And then I have this row of greens that was just kind of growing down here, doing really good. I've got all this craziness. Look how big this leaf is. <laughs> I'm still not 100% what that is. That might be Chinese broccoli, I'm not sure. But all my bok choy is starting to bolt. So is some of the Chinese cabbage. So clearly weather is warming up. And if the weather is to be trusted, it looks like all the nighttime temperatures are now gonna be in the 40s. So to me, that's safe enough to go ahead and put the citrus back outside. Especially since they're all flowering and having growth spurt, so it's a good time to let them out. Meanwhile, I've also got to pot up some of this dianthus and the rest of my delphiniums. This was a delphinium from the same batch over here that I put in a three inch pot a while ago and you can see the, how huge that is compared to the others, so I'm sure they'll catch up. I potted up all my foxgloves yesterday and so those are steadily growing as well my little rose plant that I had cut that single perfect perfect rose from is growing and just filling out completely my other rose which I kept forgetting to water is doing much better and actually look Rosebud, rosebud, rosebud. Ah, oh, excited about that. But anyways, back to the task at hand. I am clearing the space so I can get ready for all my summertime crops. I'm basically gonna put a bunch of these guys in here. I have um, eight of them. So I'm just gonna line the row here. And those are about 10 gallons each. And so I'll be growing some tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants in here, and then I'll be growing some outside. So I'll be able to do a comparison of growing crops in my polytunnel versus growing them outside this year. So that will be fun. So yeah, that is what's going on in here. also have these potatoes chitted and ready to be planted. I actually, you guys, planted out um, all the others a week ago. A week ago? Two weeks ago? A week ago. I don't know. I think I have the tag on them. But um, here they are. They were planted out on 4-9. So... And I do have a separate video for that. I just haven't released that one yet. I'm gonna try to separate out videos so they're kind of like, you know, potatoes, 
citrus, fruits, stuff like that. I don't know. Any suggestions would be appreciated. You know, I'm totally winging this gardening video thing, so... Because mostly it's just my personal diary of what I've been doing, because... You know, I think it's fun to look back on. But anyhow, so... Strawberries... Uh, other changes. Oh my gosh, I've actually done a lot these last couple weeks, you guys. Here were my spare brassicas, potted up with some purplet onions and some candy onions. Here is my strawberries, and oh, I got rhubarb! Yay, I got rhubarb! Huh, that's cool. I'm just keeping this on because it was doing a lot of raining and I didn't want the crown that I planted to be soggy and whatever, but it seems to be doing fine. Uh, that was the spinach I planted out in the video from last week. But anyhow, citrus. This is my Owari Satsuma. Got a few flowers on it. This was my Okitsu, the one from my harvest video, which was the yummy, yummy one that I waited a long time for that I tried with my son. This is my Kishu Mandarin. Look at all the flowers and new growth on this thing. Which is funny, because I'm so worried about the Kara Kara that's still in the polytunnel when this has tons of new growth too, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not picking favorites, really. Here's my variegated pink lemon. Lots of blossoms. I just absolutely love the foliage on her. But she's got little babies all over here and it's so cool because even the the baby fruits are variegated as well but oh my gosh the smells you guys it just smells like jasmine everywhere this here is my mirror crust yeah mirror crust nectarine it's a yellow freestone this guy over here is my saturn saturn donut peach white peach. Yummy, yummy. Oh my gosh. I forgot about the figs. Oh, I need to get the figs out of the greenhouse. Holy cannoli. I was kind of using this as a storage shed. Ah, don't judge me. Oh yeah. Those uh, figs need to come out. Oh, I got figs. Uh, okay, I'll definitely get those outside. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, storage shed. Like I said, don't judge. Alright. Now this, my prize possession. My Rio Red grapefruit. Oh my gosh, so many blossoms. There's those fruits. I'm hoping that by being out here and getting some nice direct sunlight and light that one, I'll get a whole bunch more fruits for the following year and these guys will ripen up. Oh, did I show you guys these yet? No, not really. I haven't done a garden tour lately, have I? Peas coming along doing well spinach for my spinach video and I also have purplet onions in here as well uh, gosh so much so much look at all these random beets growing there oh this raspberry totally just bushed out not only that look my cherries my cherries have blossoms. My Asian pear tree. I have yet to get any Asian pears, so I'm excited. I hope this year I get some. Blueberries are all growing. Oh. 
Look, my premier kale and bronze mini romaine. I'm just putting that cover on it to give it a little extra warmth then to prevent the squirrels from digging in it. Those are all coming along. This is a, a new addition. My Pacific Pride semi-dwarf nectarine. It's a white nectarine. This is supposed to be um, leaf curl resistant and a good variety for the Pacific Northwest. And here is some craziness from yesterday, I guess. I planted a whole bunch of stock and um, these are stock, stock and oh my gosh, what are they called? Oh, dragon, uh, oh my gosh, those, the dragon flowers, what are they called? Holy cannoli. They're my mom's favorite flowers and that's why I planted so many. Um, snapdragons. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I planted a whole bunch of... Oh my god. Holy cow! I think that's like the biggest worm I've ever seen. Look, it's as long as one of my onion seedlings that I put in there. That is a big one. Buddy, you better hurry because there's like lots of birds around here. Uh, I feel like I should bury him. Oh, maybe I'll... Uh, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so I planted a bunch of onions, snapdragon, stock, and then I don't know if you could see the little things there. There's a bunch of foxgloves. And I think behind them were diff delphiniums maybe. They were all the extras that I'm not growing in the greenhouse because obviously the ones in the greenhouse are much bigger because they've been potted up and such. And if you're wondering about these jugs, there is a giant sunflower seed that I just planted yesterday in each of them. So I just figured that if I covered them, they'll have a little bit extra warmth and protection. And then when I see them get to a certain height, then I'll remove the jugs. So, essentially little mini greenhouses. This is my apple. Maybe I'll get some fruit from it this year. I got fruit from it the year before. Not last year though, because, you know, last year is the year I kind of neglected everything. Here is one of my giant sunflowers. I think I might just plant them I might plant it over there by the three that have yet to germinate. But as you can see, it's kind of long and leggy. It'll be fine though, I think. I don't know, I've never really grown giant sunflowers before. <laughs> but um, that is also what I'm using for my single seed challenge. Although the one I'm using for my single seed challenge named Sammy is actually in my greenhouse. so. I'm kind of protective of him, her. I'm not sure if it's him or her yet. But I just know the name Sammy just fit. But anyways, here's a couple other foxgloves from yesterday. I kept them outside just to see how they would do. This is a red twig dogwood that I got from a plant exchange, which is super cool. If you guys like are part of gardening communities wherever you're at. Those are fun things to do. Every once in a while there's a plant or seed exchange and you just go and meet up one day and get a bunch of free stuff and then you could trade out things that you have extras of and whatnot. Anyhow, moving on. These are the buckets I'm still not sure what to do with. Ooh, I see a slug in there. I was trying to collect rainwater, which you can probably do if they're not covered, right? <laughs> Anyways, over here is my Maywa kumquat. Oh, can't wait to eat some. As you can see, I keep trying them off camera. <laughs> Ooh, 
Hello, big guy. I don't know what you are. Ooh. Some kind of big fly with reddish legs. Bye-bye. My carrots! Look how good my carrots look. <laughs> Pretty proud of those. And if you're wondering why they're up high, I don't know. I saw some videos talking about carrot fly and that if you have them up higher than three feet then you don't have to worry about that so um yeah that's that's why here are my parsnips look true leaves i swear parsnips seem to be like the slowest growing things ever <sighs> so there we go those look good this rose is pretty slow growing this one is much quicker. Oh, holy cow. I forgot all about this. Okay, so this was a uh, winter sewing experiment from January. January 30th. Whoop. This is a, <laughs> a daikon. This is a beet called Verono. Hmm. Well, you can definitely see that the soil level went down on those. Here's a beet called Boulder. Uh, winter gem lettuce. Oh, look at that. Those were expired seeds, mind you. I just kind of threw in a bunch because I really didn't think they'd germinate. Clearly they did. It's another boulder beet. Another Ferrono beet. Oh, no. Nothing came up there. And another daikon. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's kind of crazy. I definitely should have rethought about what I was planting them in, though. I mean, daikon's not going to grow very big in that thing, but boy, that's interesting, isn't it? So, January 20, I planted those. Just a goofy winter sowing experiment I forgot about. But yeah, it looks like everything came up except for the other Forono, Forono beat. Interesting. Okie dokie. Back to my citrus. Really, I was not intending to do a garden tour, but uh, since we're out here, this hot mess is uh, a whole bunch of... Um, ginormous greenhouse equipment things that our neighbor gave us because he's moving but honestly I don't know what to do with it I'm like a small backyard gardener and I just have my small polytunnel I don't have like a ginormous grow room for these humongous heat lamp thingies so I gotta figure out what to do with those um in my little grow cabinet, I still got some curly kale, bok choy, cilantro is doing awesome. Remember that big lettuce? Got my um, 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 um. Oh, I'm having such trouble remembering what things are called today. Okay, in fact, I'll let you guys see more clearly. Here we go. So I got some blue curled scotch. I mean blue curled scotch kale 
bok choy, marble of four seasons lettuce. Look at that. Look how huge that is. This is my hand. This is my lettuce. And I have discovered in growing all the lettuce greens that I am definitely more fond of the crisp, crisp, um, thicker lettuce than the flimsy, loose leaf stuff. So yeah, look at this cilantro. It's just beautiful. Oh, holy cow. Okay, those are those uh, Paris Island cause lettuces. I guess I should go plant those somewhere. This thing, I have no idea what it is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Gardening season really has begun. This is my arugula that I guess I need to do something with. Fuchsias, that's what they're called. So, I need to find them a hanging basket. Okay. Moving over here, I got my honeyberries. And then I got all my covered brassicas. Ooh, my granat lettuce is doing really well. Brassicas are still kind of slow to take off. Um, my red, I forget what that's called, red something or other, and chives, more cauliflower and broccoli and chives, cauliflower, broccoli, bok choy, and shallots. And these are a bunch of different daikons. Step over here. All my lettuce greens. Well, something's been getting in here. A oh, slug. You guys don't know, if you see little lines of like dark green poo, those be slugs. Hmm. And that is exactly why I have this covered salad bed tote, which I've already had two harvests from. So I've been enjoying salads. You know, if you told me 10 years ago I would be enjoying salads, I would not have believed you. I'm very much a carnivore. <laughs> but then I learned that salads could actually have meat in them. I know that's really silly, but seriously, you guys, I used to never do salads, and now I am a huge fan of mixed greens. And look at all this spinach that I can't seem to grow outside, except for recently from my winter sowing. I did plant. We'll see how those do, but these ones, I have tons in here to just have baby greens mixed in with my salads. And then I just do like, you know, grilled chicken or grilled steak or whatever the heck I want to put in it. Super yummy. Cannot wait to have my own fresh tomatoes and onions and just other things to put in with the salad. And then over here, oh, am I kind of afraid to look? Oh my gosh. Well, I need to plant these seedlings out. I got some... Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, you poor choice. Um, I should have planted you guys out a long time ago. Okay, kohlrabis, perpetual spinach, Chinese pink celery, tango hybrid celery, golden beets, and the pink mizuna. So I guess I'll take these out so I don't forget to transplant them today. But look at my parsley. And this is like a mixed blend from park seed. I think I got that from Italian large leaf basil and dark purple basil. That's my alternative to winter sowing in the gallon jugs. I just put seedlings and or uh, seeds 
in here to germinate. And that actually worked pretty well. Over here I have some sugar daddy snap peas and a couple broccoli in there. I've got onions everywhere. Onions! Elephant garlic. More onions. And my square foot garden bed is doing well. Except for the recent slug wars. Over here, the bok choy. It's kind of crazy, but for some reason, slugs, I mean, I know they're not really discriminatory in what they eat, but they really, really like Asian greens, and especially bok choy for some reason. So I've been uh, trying different things. So I'll have a separate video about that because I show a couple different tests using copper tape and copper wire and whatnot, but that'll be a separate video. Woo my citrus. Look, look, look. First of all, notice the jungle that is my yard. Look, but it's kind of cool looking, isn't it? Yes, it's all gonna be mowed down because my husband's gonna mow it all down, but at the moment, I kind of like how lush and jungly everything is looking. But these are my lemons. So, remember I was showing you guys that inside the greenhouse, they were getting kind of weird, nubbly looking, and that's due to the heat fluctuations in there being kind of cold and then the daytime temperatures were spiking up. Yesterday it was 89 degrees inside the polytunnel, so, and mind you outside was only like 55, 59-ish, but yeah, so I'm hoping that by putting her outside then things will be more regulated and I don't know if the fruit will necessarily change. I mean, I don't know if they can change after they've already become like this, but in any case, all the blossoms and things, hope that I'll attract lots of bees into my yard. And plus, doesn't it look pretty? It's kind of up on a pedestal stump that I was going to put a bird bath, but I kind of like how this looks. Just kind of hanging out there. <laughs> temporary. We'll see. And I put these guys over here. So here is Grandpa. Grandpa is struggling a little bit. That's some um, sunburn. That's from inside the polytunnel. So but everything else is kind of slowly coming together. And then also look! New growth! We'll focus in new growth and more new growth so, oh, and more yep new growth so it'll be neat to see as the season progresses how grandpa fills out over here is the mystery citrus from last year that I thought was dead and grew back still have no clue it is, what it is but I'm thinking from the leaves and how it looks, I think it's some kind of mandarin orange. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get some kind of fruit this year. And here is my blood orange, my Moro blood orange, which tis tisk on me, not checking my greenhouse for like over a week earlier in the winter. It got badly attacked by aphids. And so I did get rid of the aphids, but as many of you know, once you have kind of let them do their thing, the damage can't really be undone, so it'll just continue to grow looking distorted like that. So. But yeah, aphids like to attack the newest tender green growth. Let's see, it did even done a number on these, but there's still new growth, new growth on top, and I hope maybe this year I'll get fruit from them. So 
there. Uh, we'll walk through the jungle. I mean, seriously, look how pretty all this is. It's just, it's so pretty to me. I have no idea what these are, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with all the wildflower seeds that I just kind of threw everywhere. But, isn't that pretty? I don't even know what kind of flower that is. If you guys know, please tell me. I'm curious. And then what about these two? I'm sure the leaves are pretty distinct, but again, I don't know much about flowers, so... And these things are everywhere. I'm sure somebody's screaming that these are weeds, but... Like I said, it's just so pretty to me. And even this moss that has kind of grown over the bald spots in my yard. Ah, so pretty. And then we've got my kale, my um, red Russian, some curly kale, dinosaur kale in the back, and some kind of lettuce, I think. All of my Brussels are growing. Two red rubine Brussels sprouts and a green cat skill, and I think that's another blue curled scotch in the back. And then here's my asparagus bed. Oh, you know what? I think that's a daikon. I thought it was like a spinach or something, but from the leaves, it looks like it's gonna be a daikon, a daikon radish, awesome. And these are more of those Marvel of Four Seasons, which is turning into like one of my favorite lettuces. And then I've got a couple red romaines. And <laughs> thanks to, oh my gosh, what was her channel's name? Ah, uh, I can't remember her name right this moment. Otherwise I'd give her a shout out. Daly's Garden? Shoot, I can't remember. But thanks to her, I'm pretty much confirmed that this is a collard green. Or yeah, my Georgia Southern collard. So, that's a pretty good sized plant now. Got some spinach, and some little spinaches, and also some perplet onions, kind of sporadically planted about. Bok choy, another bok choy, and of course the asparagus are just popping up everywhere. And I guess you're not supposed to pick them for a couple of years, so I'm trying my hardest not to do that, but I really want to just snap one and taste one fresh. I don't know. I'm trying to be patient, you guys. But so far, so good. And I always seem to forget about this particular tree back here, but this is a tree that has some plums and apricots, a couple different varieties. But anyhow, there you have it, you guys. Kind of an unofficial walkthrough. Lots of stuff going on in my garden right now, but uh, yeah, mostly I'm just trying to figure out what to do with all my citrus right now. They're just kind of hanging out in front here, so I guess that will end my video for today. I'm gonna go plant some potatoes and maybe make a video on that that I'll release at a later date. But in the meantime, <laughs> hope you guys are all having fun and as busy and are as busy in your garden as I am right at the moment. And definitely comment below. Let me know what you're growing or what you're doing. And I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.